All right, and well, I don't want to say the top side, but we've got another one of these random map games. You see how this goes. Lots of forest so far, actually. Like a decent chunk of road. We got Disobeyed playing ROM. I am interested to see how they're going to play them. Disobeyed very much the, the ROM fan of the community. They've been playing ROM a lot in this test stream at all. Definitely interested to see how they far they can push it. And I am interested as well. Like, I think ROM's a really interesting character. They definitely got some unique strengths. In that their groove allows them to be more durable. Which is, like, I think very interesting. Alright, we got the very early layout here so far. Lots of forward villages. That's good. Lots of things to contest over. And we've got this very forward barracks and this very forward stronghold <laughs> opposing the other side stronghold too so we're gonna see i think a lot of early aggression i think you know if you get a trebuchet out of this you could reinforce it really fast really threaten where's treb range so you build like here one two one two one two three four five yeah you're in treb crit range in two turns after building that's pretty spooky. It's, it's actually very, very scary. And I don't know where the reinforcement barracks is. Okay, so it's about there. It's actually about the same distance from the strongholds, especially the front of the stronghold, as the opponent's enemy barracks. So, ooh, this is going to be a scary game. And potentially a very short one, especially given that there's Tenry on the field. I actually wonder if Tenry is going to be very good here because you build the groove, you grab your opponent's trap and you yoink them out so that they can't just murder you straight away. Okay, we're actually seeing very early fighting going on, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Like your opponent is grabbing that village and knocking your opponent's economy down, especially this early, is really strong. Is all of a sudden like I mean they can still build swords, but it means this commander heal isn't gonna be quite so good. And wow, just Skyro being so aggressive grabbing that village just straight in front of Disobeyed. I don't know if Rom can actually knock this down. Oh yeah. The math works out, and this is a sword crit too, so. Sword crit on a sword on a mountain though, so it's only gonna do actually about what a sword would do to like a regular sword hit would do to a sword on planes. Alright. Knocks this village down. And Scar, they're gonna get a chance to respond to this. I'm curious how they're going to respond. It right, grabs the village. We're gonna see Tenry walk over to this side of the map. Interesting. And actually they just re grab this village. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the safest play because Rom's just going to hit it again and he's going to build Groove, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty spooky. An Archer comes out. Oh, that's, that's nice. You got a little wall here. Archer's very good at poking, especially stuff in front of the stronghold. Okay. Oh, we got we got very aggressive Tenry coming out here. Now this is very interesting because Tenry's going into a commander versus commander fight against Rom, and Rom is incredibly strong in commander versus commander fights. And actually, just gonna go straight for it. And I mean, I guess this makes sense. Like, if you think you can heal Rom up, there's nothing really here to threaten Rom, and. Just surrounds Tenry. Oh. Oh no. That's really bad actually. I don't think there's any way for Tenry to get out here. Like, is Tenry just dead? Maybe. Skyro might have well overextended here. Especially given that there's a sword suicide available. I don't think there's two sword suicides, but I think you maybe only need one. Oh. Oh no, there's archers as well. And I think actually you can sword suicide after that. It doesn't really matter too much about the order there because you're on zero defense terrain. 
but there is definitely a knight hit here and rom and this sword can hit from there and yeah this is just very dead and yeah this is actually gonna be a very quick game skyro just overextended and we're gonna see knight into what i assume is rom or possibly sword crit if you want to be very stylish but hitting with rom i think is the the safe option here just gonna hit for a bit of extra groove. Oh, we're we gonna see Rom groove here. Is this gonna calculate out? Oh, I think it will. I think we are gonna see it's 95 right now, knocks the village down, we see Rom groove. And I think we're gonna see Rom transform in front of Tenry just to flex. Yep. We got Crystal Heart coming out. And we get to see that lovely Crystal Heart animation and just throws a bunch of crystals straight in Tenry's face and yeah, with Disobedience taking it pretty convincingly. And I think once again, we've seen a couple of, of Commando Over Extensions now, and that was, yeah, definitely one from Skyro. And yeah, like, you don't want to fight Rom in a Commander versus Commander fight because Rom is just very, very strong. Very good at brawling. Probably the up there with Dark Mercia, Mercia, and. Who else is good? Sigrid's a good brawler as well, if there's like a unit nearby that she can eat. I think those are the real main ones. I'm sure someone will think of another one soon, but... I guess like technically Zavan, like Greenfinger, would be quite good if they have Groove. Emric, yeah, someone's saying Emric. Very good versus Commander ver and Commander versus Commander. Yeah, those are the main ones that come to mind. I think Greenfinger is like an interesting one because if you can get tier 2 groove up, you, you do your bit of a fight against your opponent's commander and they just surround them with vines that do damage. Wolfar. Wolfar is an interesting one because I think he kind of falls down as soon as there's not other units nearby. Whereas like Mercia, Dark Mercia and Rom do quite well just by themselves. In like a pure 1v1 fight, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, well played to Dispades, taking advantage of their opponent overextending. That is very much a, an important skill to learn as well. Um, it isn't just about your opponent making a, an overextension, it's about your ability to punish it too. Uh, yeah, we're going to go into the next game.